Well, hello and welcome back to Paragon Ridge. If you haven't subscribed already, my name is Chrissy and I live with my family on a large ranch in Northeast Oklahoma. And today we are gonna set some eggs. I was able to get some eggs from two of my neighbors. So they're gonna be random. So they're gonna be Easter egg mixes, all kinds of different chickens. Um, one has lots of barred rocks and Rhode Island reds. And one of her roosters, it looks like a Marin. One looks like an Astrolope. Uh, one looks like a Millie Fleur du Call. This dog. Rigaroo. Mommy's recording. Can you be quiet for a little bit? Huh? Can you? Can you be a good boy? Okay. I know. Um, and then my other neighbor, they have a mix of some really pretty ones. There's Delawares. There's Bard Rocks. There's Easter Eggers from me from this uh, past year. There is Well Summers. Black Astrolopes, I believe. So she has a whole bunch of Ruger. What is it, buddy? Yeah, yeah, you're my good boy. He's a good boy, he's a good boy. He is a good boy, he just demands a lot of love. He just demands a lot of love. Um, so I was able to obtain uh, probably 24 from each of those neighbors. So I probably have about 50, I'll count them with you here in just a little bit. Uh, so about 50 eggs that need to go into the Sportsman GQF 1502. I haven't had it on for a couple months. I kind of stopped in like July, I believe, or August hatching because my girls stopped laying in July. They usually stop in August and don't start back until February or March. But this year they took a hiatus a little month early where theirs are still laying like crazy. I just, I don't get it. I don't know why. Um, nothing's different. They have their oyster shells. They have their, um, yeah, they have minerals. They have their protein, they have hay, they get kitchen scraps, they get scraps from the vegetable garden. So I just don't even know what their problem is. They're not under stress. They're in the same environment they have been for years, but they've stopped laying. So thank God for good neighbors. And then I have another sweet neighbor from my old house that's also gonna be um, getting me some marin eggs. I'm pretty excited about that. video when that comes but let's go um count the eggs get them all set up in their little egg holders and talk about the gqf i turned it on earlier so we need to go check the temperature and the humidity i do dry hatches but i still like to look at it and document it and i'll take you along to see what i do okay so we are gonna take our eggs that we got from our lovely neighbors and we're gonna place them in our egg trays already done one these are from my friend Front left neighbors and my front right neighbors. So what you do when you place eggs is you do the tip down. So see how this one's a little hard and how you can see there's a little bit of blood on it. That means this is a new layer. Not sure if it's gonna be fertilized or not, but it's really hard to tell what side is the tip. So I'm gonna go with this side as the tip. I'm just gonna go tip down. See this one here? That's the tip. So the small side goes down always because the air, the air bubble, see this one? This is hard. You see that? This is one is a little hard. You know what? It's broken. So I can't use this one. See the cracks? That one aside. So here's one. You can see that this side's a little bit, I don't know if you can see it, this side's a little bit narrower. So that's gonna be tipped down. Here's one that's hard again. What side's it? I think this is the tip. It's hard to tell, but you just have to guess and gotta figure it out. When they're such big eggs and they don't have a narrow tip and a long bottom, you just have to try to figure it out. This one? Try to figure out this side looks smaller. See that? This side looks more narrow. That means it's down. More narrow side down. More narrow side down. Now we're ready to go take these lovely eggs. Do you see them? They're brown hues. Some have speckles like well summers. Some are blue. Some are pretty dark. Do you see these right here? Pretty dark. 
And then these are actually all blue. There's no greens, which is great because I only have a Crested Cream Lip Baru. So he's a blue egg. So anybody that he um, fertilizes, that is this brown color will be a green egg if they're a female and if they get to um, lay. All these white ones, if they're with my male, would just be a lighter blue color if they were born. So these are different kinds from my different um, neighbors, different breeds, and I'm excited. So let's go put them in the GQF Sportsman 1502. Well, hi, this is my GQF. It's a Sportsman 1502. I got it about three to four years ago for Mother's Day and I will never look back. I will never ever use a styrofoam incubator again. Besides being a waste of money, it's just a waste of time. With this uh, big huge cabinet incubator, I almost get 100% hatch every single time, which is ridiculous. So I've already shown you that we put the eggs little side down, big side up, remember? And we're now gonna put them in here. So I've already checked it. It has three latches. You open it up. It does let the air out, but it heats up really, really quick. So these move on a rotation. So every hour they do one full turn and then one full turn the other way, once an hour. So you set them up to be perfectly horizontal. Now I've set it and I'm going to forget it. They're going to be in here for 21 days. I use Hatch Batch app on any Samsung phone and at about day 17 to 18, depends if it's morning or night, I'll put them down in the brood in the bottom and I'll wait for them to hatch. I don't add any water. As I said, I do a dry hatch the whole time. So the humidity right now in the shop in here is 34% and that's pretty good. I don't like to mess with the humidities. I don't like to mess with add water. It's going low. Um, they're too dry, they're too wet. I don't mess with any of that. Just put it in, forget it, turn it up. Don't look at it unless you want to be a person that candles them every few days. That's always fun. And that's easy, you just pull the trays out, use your little, um, I don't know where mine is, but my little flashlight. And I just put it on each egg and see. Um, I don't do that. I just put them in there, put them in the bottom to hatch, give them an extra two or three days, and then they'll be ready to go. And that is it. We'll check back every few days on this hatch. This is my fall hatch with all my neighbor's eggs. I did go ahead and go to Tractor Supply and they were out of chicks. So I found someone local in Winchester that carries a Rhode Island Reds, Speckled Sussex, Easter Eggers, and all different guineas. So I was able to get some guineas and some Speckled Sussex because the speckles have been on my list for quite some time. Hi beautiful baby. These are the speckled Sussex and Easter eggers. I had one last year, but I lost it to predators, whatever. Raccoons, possums, not quite sure. So these ones are staying in the barn with that new brooder that we made last week that I posted that Jeremy helped me with. So we're gonna set this, we're gonna check them back in a couple days. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't and hit the little dingle bell. It'll alert you every single time that I upload a new video about chickens or hatching or barn dominiums or hunting or fishing or all the fun things that we do here at our homestead. So thank you so much for watching, bye-bye.